What's up boys and girls, welcome back to Expression Culture here with me, Gareth Hondaguru. Wow, that sun got in my eyes there. Today, let me just try and move over a bit. No, that made hardly any difference. Today, small little video, I'm going to be changing uh, a steering wheel on a GK5 uh, Honda Jazz Sport, also probably known in uh, the rest of the world as, as a Fit RS kind of anyway so the GK5 so this steering wheel's actually been around a little bit originally it was actually owned by Gianni of status era now that's where my good friend Harry hi Harry that's where Harry got it from uh, that's where I got it. that's who he got the steering wheel from um, ordered it off uh, I think off eBay actually I think he had it listed on eBay for quite a while not many people modify jazzes, uh, especially the newer ones uh, in this country. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so he bought it, and uh, when it arrived, he liked it, but I think he preferred the lever, to be honest. So he stuck with the lever, and he put it up for sale as well. And luckily, um, I think for him, uh, someone in sort of the localish community um, bit the bullet on it and bought it off him. Uh, so I'm going to be fitting it to that car today. This is Alex's um, Honda Jazz uh, GK5 Sport in Sunset Orange, I believe, or Sunrise. I think it's Sunset, though. Yeah, I saw, I saw that he bought it, and uh, he's not very mechanically minded, uh, so I offered to fit it for him to uh, hopefully make some YouTube content, which is why we're here today. So yeah, I'm just waiting for him to arrive. Um, should be a fairly short video, um, they're very simple to change, uh, two torque screws at the back of the steering wheel, remove the air, which um, hold the airbag in place, and uh, obviously then disconnect the airbag itself, and then a large nut in the middle of the steering wheel, pull the steering wheel off, put the new one on, obviously make sure everything's lined up correctly so you don't get any uh, steering wheel out of alignment. Um, you do not need to disconnect the battery. If I had to disconnect the battery on every Honda that I'd done an airbag recall on, I'd be a millionaire. None of them go off, none of them cause any problems. It's up to you if you want to take disconnect the battery, but you do not need to, certainly don't need to do that. Um, but obviously you run that risk yourself. I've done hundreds, maybe thousands of airbags, of, uh, mainly Honda Jazzes and Honda Civics, and, Honda Insights uh, all over the year, years. Without further ado, here we go. This is the original steering wheel. Obviously being a sport model, it does have the orange stitching, not red, like uh, some people seem to think they have, but no, they do have orange stitching on these, which is really good on the orange, actually. SD card right in speed slow, what's that about? What's yeah, that? sorry there, my camera had a bit of a glitch. Didn't know if it was actually recorded or not. So yeah, this is the original steering wheel. And we're going to remove that now. So, round here, if the sun doesn't kill me, there's a screw here, which is, looking at it, probably a T30, T28, probably something like that. The one on the other side as well. Pull the airbag off. And then uh, there'll be one big bolt in the middle, which is a screw, I think. But yeah, let's go. It's not bad, That's good, yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah, it's a T30, like I thought. Let's get in it. Then the same on the other side. There we go. That's the airbag removed. So you've got one plug in the middle here, which is that one there. And you've got a little plug here. Goes on top there. That's for your actual uh, horn. Pop that on side. Now in the middle is a massive key. So it isn't what I thought it was. It's <laughs> not a bolt, not a nut. Uh, but we'll get it off. To... Right, so we've put the steering lock on so the wheel can't move that way. It's a 10 mil key. They're always fucking tight. 
I just put the uh, the bolt back in the middle. Please make sure you do this, because if you pull that off, it's got nowhere to stop and it's going to twat you in the face. Best thing to do is hit each side like this. See? Nice and easy. So here we go. This is the, uh, the lovely suede or Alcantara steering wheel. It's just a reverse now of how we put it together. So I took it apart. Even. So do the centre nut up. Make sure you've got it in the same position. To make sure the clock spring is um, in the right position as well, because otherwise your indicators won't cancel. Uh, there's a little nib that goes into the back of the steering wheel. I'll show you that in the old one in a moment. Uh, but yeah, it's just a process of doing the reverse. So there we go, boys and girls. That's all back together. What do you think? Very racy. It's got this carbon effect on it as well. Feels really nice. It's got the old 12 o'clock on it as well. Did say it's a shame that's uh, not orange, but then it does. At least it stands out now. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool indeed. So here's the... Uh, the GK5 Sport I was talking about. It's not Sport and it's uh, wheels that you're used to at the moment. I think he had a had a, pot, a pot hole, one of them's bent, so we're back on these. But it's on tine lowering springs and a uh, lovely Spoon M1 back box, just like Harry's. Hello, Mr. Rover. Yeah, sick car. You've probably seen this in one of my videos at least. Or anyone that's followed me for a while. Would have obviously known this car in the past right let's get some better light as you can see it's got dark it is the evening doing this after work uh yeah so lovely steering wheel um it feels really great it feels slightly thicker as well i don't know if uh he's had some like padding or anything put behind it or just the material itself is generally thicker than the leather but it does feel slightly thicker which is obviously everyone wants a bit more girth <laughs> uh, anyway boys and girls thank you for sticking around Hope you've enjoyed that video. Please check out the sponsors in the intro and the outro, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.